caravan has arrived. All right, that's just wet because of that, so that's fine. Let's go up here. We will sell you our mechanisms. They are lovely. I hope you enjoy them because it's all you're getting. I know, I know, you were asking for ash and that's just not happening. Stodier is still our liaison and says, I'm your liaison for the mountain homes. Let's discuss your situation. There's much to share. Uh, we want weapons that are hammers. I'm sorry, are weapons at the top? Yes. <laughs> hammers. They would like cheese. Cheese. Do we look like the kind of place that would have cheese? I'm serious, do we? I don't, I don't know. Broker, get your butt over here. <clears throat> All right. What do you get for me? We trade you mechanisms. That's way too heavy for you. Sure. All right. Uh, I would love to take your bars, but I probably don't have enough for it. I might have to take your stones. Any animals of note? Not really. A dog and a drake, huh? You disappoint me. Um, Warhammers. You brought us Warhammers. Excellent. Problem is, they're kind of expensive. <laughs> I don't actually have much trade value to trade. But since he did bring one, since he did bring them, I will trade for at least one. I suppose I should trade for that one because it's slightly better. We'll take the copper and the bronze one as well. Yeah, and I think I'm going to need to trade for those cages because they're heavy and will account for things. Take that one, that one, and that one. And I guess we'll take the dog and the drake. And I still need 145 weight, huh? What else could you have that's heavy? Not a whole lot. That's the answer. Anvils. Apparently our... Um, Civilization makes braise. I didn't know that. Hmm. Well, I definitely don't have enough to trade for that nickel silver cage, so that's not happening. Oh, I can maybe get these three? There we go. All right. Well, we still have some profit to work with. Can I get another hammer? Can I get two? No. Well, hey, we have four hammers. How about that? <clears throat> A little catch in my throat. I should grab some water. I should grab some water. Or more specifically, um... Um, seltzer is the word I'm working for. <laughs> All right. Well, we can set the the um, Drake free. 
put the Drake up here. Drake doesn't need to be up here, but yeah, we'll let the Drake go. All right, I guess we have to put him there for now. We'll put the dog there for now as well, and we'll plan to move them. Uh, did we get a bunch more? I think we got a bunch more baby elephants. I didn't even notice. Uh, let's check on the news around the world, huh? Some fighting going on up here. Early spring of 258, the army of M M Mifawa Spring Wing marched on basement drilled. In the late autumn of 257, Amos Wildon became mayor of the Rampart of Forever, replacing Vabok or Vabok Paintstake. And that's it. That's all the news we get. What word from the north? Two words. That's it. We need a better. <laughs> so when you when you uh, embark in a fort, your wagon is set up as like a default meeting zone. So if you don't have another meeting zone, that's where your outpost liaison meets. <laughs> I, I don't often do this, but I think the expedition leader should have their own office. And I feel like it should be off of the tavern. And we should make the tavern into an actual tavern. Doesn't need to be a fancy office. Just, just a little place to call their own. Doesn't have much, but it has a weapon. Skilled Spear Dwarf, of course, but you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Sometimes we end up with hammers. statue buddy you may have a statue of Mebzeth in your in your office you probably worship rainbows don't you all right so that's that are we ready to start inviting people? I think we are. Except that, this is now a, <laughs> the nuts of tin. <laughs> uh, we're going to associate the dining hall with the nuts of tin. And um, we're going to designate a tavern keeper. Edsel is a skilled intimidator and adequate persuader. Zasset is an adequate consoler and novice persuader. 
All right, Edsel, you get the job. All visitors are welcome. And put some goblets in here. I actually want to increase the number of goblets in here. We'll specify 30, I guess. And we'll probably need to make some more goblets, so we'll do that. Rocco mugs. Uh, we have 12 already. We need 18 more, so that's six. But we'll make, yeah, you know what? We'll make 10. Also, I see we're out of drink again. Good job, me. Brew Drinko. Say 30. And do we have... I, I was trying to look if we had fruit. That's what I was trying to determine. Blueberries, plums, persimmons. Not a lot of fruit. We have some fruit. I guess that's fine. Alright, so now we have a very secure... In air quotes... Um, basement section here. We have access to metal. That's excellent. Time to start digging, everybody. Oh, we're looking for lava. We're looking for magma. Do, 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 do. Well, that didn't take long. You have discovered an expansive cavern deep underground. Pause it. Of course, it's right under our stairs. Why does it always happen to be like that? Ooh, gems. Um, blah, 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 blah. Let's take a look at this. I think that's fine, right? Get down here, chop off that tree, build walls around it so we can close it off. Lovely view. Keep digging for a minute. Uh, I should turn off web collection. I don't see any webs out there, but that doesn't mean they're not. <clears throat> and I should probably just check to see if there's anything nasty down here. Not at the moment. And then we'll chop down the street. Chocolate invasion has begun. Uh, all right. Funnily enough, I don't know that. 
I was gonna say, I didn't know if uh, the captain would, uh, or the militia commander would kill the troglodytes, but I guess the answer is yes. Someone's injured already? Freestab, you've been fighting. Troglody punches the manager in the left upper arm with his right hand, bruising the skin through the alpaca wool dress. That's alright, I think you did much more damage to... to the troglodyte, frankly. Well, luckily we have a lot of troglodytes dead now. Yay. This is why I don't like opening the caverns, you know? That one's dead. Cutter, what are you doing? Migrants have arrived. Yay! 18, 19, 20, 21, 22? I should probably check and see if these are also from. Yes, these are from the lenses of tenacity. Which means we potentially are admitting a whole bunch of people that are injured and everything. You're from... The Grand Banners, the Earth of Burying, the Brown Rock. <laughs> That's a lovely government name, the Brown Rock. Hey, Darth arrived! Darth or Blacksmith? Blacksmith. Smith? Toasted the miner. On get the doctor. Member of the farmer's guild. Orbam the child. Solon the bone carver. Data and the child. Lore the trapper. Toon the fish cleaner. Locum the weaver. Also a former milita military dwarf. I don't think they're particularly good at being a military dwarf, but they are specified as one. <laughs> this one's also a former military dwarf. It's slow to anger after seeing the blind cave ogre a vessel names dead body in 254. See, that's... that's not good. A 
llama, a donkey, and that's it. All right, back to the problem here. I want to build a bridge right here. I don't know where you just were. Like, what are you doing down here? This is not a place to play. Are you injured down there or something? I don't know. All right, I need to put a new lever here. I sold all my mechanisms, <laughs> as one does, as one does. Um. I know, you're, you're not terribly excited about stationing here, Deggle, but you're going to be stationed here for a minute. Did you hear the one about the chameleon demons and the giant grasshoppers? Did you? Alright, you should be on monthly orders. You can... Not stationed for now, I guess. All right, we cut down that tree, right? We did. Now we can go over and put a wall here. We can put stairs here. And we're fancy, so we're just going to build them all the way up. I guess I only need one there at the moment. Why is there open space there? <laughs> Why?
So I think at one point I had a child that was injured out here and that's why they had water brought to them. I don't even know. I'm going to dig this out. I'm going to put a little garbage dump there. I'm going to say to dump that that uh, bucket in there. Like if they bring it on up to the top, fine, but Now, I believe, oh, this isn't even linked yet. Darn it. Oh, right, I hadn't actually built the lever yet. Whoops. Let's uh, create a hotkey here for cavern one. We can also unlock that now and get rid of this garbage. I hope no one else is in the cave because I'm turning it off. Ever crunk. Cavern one. I don't know what you were doing right there, but it kind of looks like you were complaining on being outside. Udil. To winter we go. Oh, we have a visitor. Who's our visitor? Ought to be like some zombie. Ooh, maybe we'll have Nish come. Nish was our zombie killing squad in one person. At one zombie, that is. Oh, wow, we have a billion visitors. What was that? Giant bat. Well, apparently we closed the door just in time. Anything else? Giant Dolm. Giant Kias. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have some um, visitors, huh? Look at that. We have visitors. Aerith is telling a story. Laura, Laura Bam's telling a story. Edzel is socializing. Yeah, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Needs empty food storage. Guess what? We need more rock pots. Rock pot! 20. Alright, now that we've successfully defended ourselves, I, I could dig out that iron, but I, I think we'll we'll wait on that for a minute. Um now that I built these stairs, can I dig here? I can't. Can't? Hmm. I didn't even think of that. I guess I can't. Can I? Well, that's annoying. I guess I could just build stairs in here to go down further. Or maybe we dig over to a, a place that goes down. I like that. Hi there, Lost In. How you doing? Yes, I like that idea. Um, all right, so let's erase all this. from here granite 
diorite. The digging is going well, thanks for asking. Where to dig, where to dig, where to dig. Over here. Diggy diggy hole, diggy diggy hole, diggy 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 hole, do do do. I always envision having like barracks areas but as as uh holding areas for potential things. I have visions. We're digging cautiously, I'll say. Not that cautiously, mind you, but cautiously. All right, so we'll do that and we'll start digging down some more. See how that goes. I should definitely turn that off of one for the future, but you know, whatever. Don't tell me you can't build that. Just build it. We have a yak cow. Build me a bridge. Hmm. I world for a more variety of rock. <laughs> Cautious digging, got it. Let me fetch some explosives. <laughs> Just love the smell of napalm in the morning. Discovered an expansive cavern deep underground. No, we did that already. I really like I should probably spend some time just exploring this cavern layer and see if there's a magma tube or something in it, but who has the time? Of course we did. Oh. So this is, so, I mean, caverns are, are like pervasive throughout the world, right? And my last fort, the, the second cavern layer was 27 Z levels high. This is equivalent. So this is 46. But the water is down at level negative 50, right? And it goes up to 19. That's like 30 Z levels. EGADS. All right, uh, stop digging. I'm always unsure of how to close off a, a stair that is open on the bottom. Like I need to put a wall underneath it. Or I put a wall on top of this. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm still going to dig from here down, right? But I won't dig the layer underneath and then we'll put a wall there. Or maybe we'll channel it out. Do I need to channel it out? I probably don't. 
and then put stairs going up from here. <laughs> and then we move again. <laughs> I build in this cat, this pillar. Like, there's no reason for me to want to build in this pillar, but I'm just like, oh, it's surrounded by water. Let's go. <laughs> Suppose I suppose I have to go up a bit farther for that, too, then. Mm, that's less fun. Building a floor, then building a stair works. I, I mean, I should be able to just build the, the, the stair. And that should do it. Because it's not going to be an up-down stair. So my goal this time is to really make it so that people can't get in my fort or enemies can't get in my fort. Because last time they killed me. So yeah, you should not be able to pass from here down to there or vice versa. In theory. TM. All right, I'm just going to go over here a little bit. And then we'll dig down. It's going to be quite a ways to get magma up to the surface or up to our digging layer, but you know. Sacrifices may have to be made. We will follow Logan. Logan says, I finished up some work. I'm very satisfied. Uh, she does not enjoy participating in physical confrontations and she works to square this natural tendency with her respect of martial prowess. She only rarely tries to assert herself in conversation, does not feel a lustful. Uh, is stubborn and tends to think before acting. She has a tendency toward forming deep emotional bonds with others. She doesn't handle stress well. She can easily fall in love or develop positive sentiments. She likes a little excitement now and then and is conflicted by this because she considers tranquility pref preferable to tumult. Uh, conceptually, she has a calm demeanor. Uh, conceptually, she has a calm demeanor. She finds obligations confining, though she is conflicted by this for more than one reason. She likes to take it easy. She snaps her fingers repeatedly when she's excited, just like I do. Uh, she likes working outdoors and grumbles only mildly at inclement weather. She dreams of crafting a masterwork one day. She personally strongly values tranquility and quiet due to a new romance in 256 and doesn't care about nature one way or the other. In terms of preferences, she likes pudding stone, black bronze, milk opal, fire imp tooth. That's specific. Canaf paper, gems, guinea fowls for their social nature, musk oxen for their strength, and the sound of the vermilion flute. When possible, she prefers to consume giant wren, yak cheese, carambola wine, and absolutely detests bark scorpions. We put a statue of Mebzith in the man in the expedition leader's office. Mebzith is striking a, a triumphant pose. How lovely. All right. So I've got a couple things going on here. We're going to go down here. Kind of wonder if I'm really close to the cavern right there, but okay. Um, I guess I'll say this is cavern layer two. Not that we have access to it, but I want to just make sure I have it as a hotkey just in case. And then we dug all the way down here and didn't find anything else. Excellent. All right. Dig some more, people. We haven't found lava yet, so keep digging. Them's the rules. 
A yak cow is giving birth to a yak calf. All right. Oh, we have 28 people. I bet you we don't have enough bedrooms. Yeah, we're not doing too bad, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Darth needs a bedroom. Goblin poet visiting. Get some more over here too. 